Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the Google Sheet I created to help manage my miners. If you own multiple miners or just wanna see reward metrics on more than one miner, this might be useful for you. Do you have people hosting your miners? Do they require payout? This sheet can help streamline the process. And the best part is once it is set up, it will automatically update daily. Let me show you what I mean. In this dashboard, we are looking at four miners. In the past 24 hours, the four miners have generated the following number. You can see they performed slightly worse than the previous day. Over the last seven days, their total is shown here. And over the past 30 days, their total is shown here. I have also included the total rewards the spreadsheet has on record. To help identify what is working and what isn't working, the best and the worst performers are shown here. You can click on the pie chart to see which hotspot is representing a given wedge. In the same fashion, you can click on the graph. The minor rewards sheet is straightforward. This is the total HT you have accrued across all of your miners. Each miner's performance is here. You may notice that some of these totals are the same number. We simply do not have enough data logged yet. We are only capturing the daily totals, so give it time and watch it grow. If your miner is being hosted and you are sharing rewards, this sheet will show you how much is owed for the completed month and what is being accrued for the ongoing month. In this example, I have three miners and I'm splitting the rewards with my friend Mac. The amount shown is the total of his cut for all three miners. This way, I don't have to send a payment for each miner or try to add together on my own. As a convenience, I manually added the QR codes of my hosts to make sending payments easier. Once I have paid a host, I can click the checkbox to mark it off. Feel free to share this with your hosts so they can get excited about their portion. There are three steps to getting this sheet working for you, and it doesn't require any add-ons. The first step is to add your minor information. The second step is to add the macros. And the third step is to set daily triggers for the macros. For step one, let's take a look at the minor info sheet. The columns in green are required for each miner. The columns in purple are optional. A good rule to follow is always select the cell you want to edit, then edit from the formula bar. This way you will preserve the formatting. Let me show you an example of how to add your miner. First, type in your miner's name here. To find your miner's address, go to explore.helium.com, type in your miner's name, click on it when it appears, click this button to copy the miner's address. Now, back on the sheet, select the cell, select the formula bar, and paste. Optionally, you can select what type of miner you have. You can also select what type of antenna you're using, the antenna cable, and how many feet. Here you will enter your name and your wallet address. If you have a host or you are splitting the rewards with someone, put their name here. Now select what percentage of HNT they are getting for that miner. Or if you have another arrangement, you can use this sheet just as a reference. Select other and put it in the notes section. You can add more miners at any time. For step two, we need to add the macros. To add the macros, go to Tools, Script Editor, click the plus sign next to Files and select Script, type the following for the name, Import JSON, hit Enter. You can go ahead and delete the auto-populated script. Now in a new browser tab or window, go to the following link. The link is also in the video's description below, labeled Import JSON Script. Once you're there, click Raw, copy all the text, switch back to the Google App Script window, paste in the Import JSON.js window, and click Save. Now we need to add one more script. Click the plus sign next to Files and select Script. Type the following for the name, Macros. 
Hit enter. Now in the browser tab or window, go to the following link. Once you are there, click raw, copy all the text, switch back to the Google Apps Script window, and paste in the macros.js window. Click save, and you're all done. Before we create triggers, Google will need permissions to allow the scripts to run. The easiest way to do this is just run the macros and verify everything is working. Go to Tools, Macros, and select API Refresh. You may get an authorization required prompt. If you do, click Continue, click your account, hit Advanced, then you may have to scroll down and select Go to Helium Miners Template. Scroll down and hit Allow. Now run the same macro again. Go to Tools, Macros, and select API Refresh. You should see the sheet Data Magic Do Not Edit appear in the Time on Cell B6 update. Now let's run the macro Daily Reward Copy. If you get another authorization prompt, just follow the steps we did before. When it properly runs, you will see the sheet Minor Reward Log and it will add a new row and paste data. Now to keep the data consistent, let's delete the row on the minor reward log that was just created. Make sure you only have the first row that has your minor names and the second row that is blank. Now for the easy part, let's add the triggers that will automate the Google Sheet. Click Tools, go to Script Editor, click the alarm clock icon on the left, click Add Trigger, the first trigger we want to run is the API refresh. The event source will be time driven and then we will set it to a day timer. When it runs is up to you. I'm going to set it to 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Now click save. Now we are going to add one more trigger. This time we are going to run daily reward copy. It's also time driven, a day timer, and I'm going to set it to run just after the API refresh timer. So 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Now click Save, and we're all done. As the triggers go off, you will start to see your spreadsheet populate. 